OK, we're just going to look at a few useful ways in which we can use iOS 11's new drag drop functionality within Photo for iPad. So to begin with then, if I double tap the Home button here, I've got Photos and Files open. I'll pick Files first. And one very simple procedure we can do is simply tap hold on a file or image and swipe up from the bottom to get to the Control Center. Then I can simply hover the image over Photo like so. And once we're in Photo, we'll see the little green plus icon. We can simply release. And Photo will then import that image as a new document. So we can see here, I can simply tap to open that document. OK, so this technique also applies to multiple files. Again, if I double tap the Home button like so, go back to Files, and this time I tap Hold, and I choose Multiple Files like so. I can then once again swipe up from the bottom, go into Photo, and Release. And Photo will then import each image separately. And it's just worth noting that if the files have to be downloaded from cloud storage beforehand, then it will typically take a bit longer for you. OK, just before we move on, I want to show you a slightly different approach to doing exactly the same procedure. So you'll notice so far that I've basically been double tapping and moving across to another app in the full screen view. Instead, what we can do is, again, if I move back to Photo, we can swipe up from the bottom. And I could pick Files, but I'm going to pick Photos this time and just tap hold Photos, drag it out as a pane. So I can just release. And I can have Photos out in a right-hand pane here. And if I want to import an image, I can simply just say tap drag straight in like so and drop it into Photo. All right, now crucially, we can also use this multiple file functionality within stacking and merging operations. And what I mean by that is if I tap the plus icon up here, you'll see we've got options to create a new panorama, stack, focus merge, HDR merge, and so on. So again, we're going to use the docked pane method. So what I'll do is swipe up from the bottom, tap and hold files, drag it out, and release. OK, and I'm going to go into a separate folder here where I've got some images I want to put into a stack. Now, I can just swipe this away temporarily, choose New Stack, and then just swipe it back in from the side. And you'll see with this Images box here, I can simply tap Hold, select multiple files like so, and drag them straight in to the Images box here. OK, good. So I can just swipe this pane away and then toggle these items off, since I don't need image alignment, and then tap OK. And then the stack is created, so I'll just quickly go in and change the stacking operator to maximum for my final image. So then, hypothetically, let's say we have our finished image. One other great little technique we can use is to export using drag drop. So if I tap the Document menu up here and go to Export, we have our typical Export dialog. But here's something really cool we can do with this. If we swipe up from the bottom here, and I'll pick Photos, for example. Let's just tap, drag, and bring it out as a pane here. I can tap hold the format I want to export in, for example, JPEG, and drag it to whichever app I have docked here as a pane, and simply release. And there we go. There is our exported image ready for use. OK, and just to give you a bit of inspiration about how else you might want to use this feature, let's, for example, launch Twitter. OK, so Twitter is running in the background now. And if I move back to Photo, I can then swipe up from the bottom and tap, drag Twitter out, dock it as a pane here. And let's say we want to instantly share the work we've just created. I can create a new tweet here and just tap, drag the JPEG format again, drag it straight onto Twitter. OK, and there we go. So that's one use, is very quickly sharing our work using social media apps on iPad. And that is about it for this video. 
I hope that's given you some useful ideas and inspiration for using DragDrop in iOS to improve your workflow. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials.